This is Dave McCain with the Right Tree Genealogy doing another DNA topic and today it's on an Ancestry.com match, shared matches, my parents. What? So this is real data from real kits that I manage on Ancestry and uh, let me give an example of what this means. To start, shared matches with my mother. So this shows my mother and her top matches. And as you can see, uh, here I am and here is actually my daughter. My father does not show where he should show on the list for me to my mother in this section. If they were DNA matches, he would show up with her and she would show up with him in this section. So they're not matches, or at least to the eight centimorgans that's required on Ancestry. Let's go to the research question of the day. And that is, why does an Ancestry.com AT match, shared match my parents, when they don't match each other. So my parents don't match each other, but a shared match matches my parents. Look at the next step here. Let's see a few examples of that represents this question. So match number one to me is Alexandra at 53 centimorgans. And I have a note here already uh, in the center of the page that says both sides, matches both sides. And the same thing over here, 50, Donna matches me at 59 centimorgans. And I have a note that says this is on both sides. This is match number two. My parents are listed as shared matches to both of the Alexandria and Donna. My mother here, my father here. Now, how uh, match one matches my father and my mother? So this is taking Alexandria, uh, 97 centimorgans to my father, and 32 centimorgans to my mother. So this is match number one to me that shows both my, my parents matching them. Match number two is Donna. Donna matches my father at 59 centimorgans and matches my mother at 60 centimorgans on Ancestry. So we're seeing that these matches are matching my parents, same people, same matches, a little difference in the centimorgans. My dad is first cousins, three times removed with Alexandria, and my mother is second cousins, twice removed with Alexandria. This is from one family line on my McCain line, and this is uh, from another line on my mom's uh, Swearingen line. On Donna, first cousin twice removed on the McCain line, and this is third cousin three times removed, plus there's some other information that I can't disclose at the moment, but from the same Swearingen line as well. My father is on one line, my mother is on another with both Alexandria and Donna. Conclusion or answers to why. Each of my parents have a common ancestor to the shared match. So my mom has a, a match, my dad has a match to the shared match that I have. Now, it does not mean that I have an inherited DNA from uh, both my parents that match the shared match. It does mean I inherited DNA from at least one of them. And looking a little further in the match number one that I presented earlier, my father matches at 97 centimorgans and my mother at 32 centimorgans. And I match at 53. It is entirely possible that I inherited all of it from my father and none of it from my mother. Uh, but there's only one way to, to see this, and that's at the chromosome level. Now, that is a different topic than this one. The purpose of this video is give an answer to the question of why is my, both my parents showing up as matches to a, one of my matches, but my parents don't match each other. And so, if you're interested in seeing a discussion about uh, chromosome level, I have a few videos on triangulation that will be in the DNA card that's at the end of this uh, video. And then the second thing is, my parents do not share the same ancestors with the shared match. Very first point here is my parents do not match each other on Ancestry.com. Ancestry has a threshold of now eight centimorgans, and my parents don't match at that level at all. And considering a note at the very top of this page that I did not read is note, these were simple examples with above 30 centimorgans shared DNA of which helps represent the topic more clearly. 
The more DNA you share with an individual typically means you have a closer relationship to them. With exceptions in endogamy, you will have the higher the centimorgans. In this case, these are both above 30 centimorgan matches uh, with documented lines between my parents that there's no kinship uh, in the paper trails and that each of the individual's paper trails that I've traced, uh, there's not a common ancestor uh, between my parents. Now, each one of them have a common ancestor to me uh, through each of the individual parents. Make that statement clear. Based on traditional genealogy or paper trails, there are no common ancestors within the four generations between my parents. I hope this answers the question that I put forth in this video. Please consider clicking the button over here uh, to subscribe or watching these sets of videos, which this DNA set over here covers the uh, triangulation as well as other DNA videos that may be of interest. Thank you for watching. Let's continue to learn together.